Hi, I'm the developer designer behind uh, Democracy 3. Um, I've just got another review of the game um, on a site called Indie Static, and I thought it was very interesting because it kind of approached reviewing the game in the same way that I've tried to design it. And I think it, it's quite interesting because it reminds me that um, basically Democracy 3 is a very emotional game. And I think that all good games are basically about emotion, so they bring out a certain emotion in you. I think all entertainment is emotional. And it might seem a bit funny to have a game that's like mostly spreadsheets and um, charts and statistics and to say, oh, it's an emotional game, um, as opposed to a game where you run around and shoot people in the face, which is obviously, you know, testosterone, power and fantasy thing. Um, but actually I think it's, it's a, a much more emotional game than most because it deals with emotions that, that games tend not to, which are kind of um, the querying of your own ethics, which is sometimes done very, in a very sort of blatant and kind of binary way in a game like Bioshock, um, which all credit to them for, for, for like trying to do that when, you know, do you save this little girl? or do you murder the little girl in order to further uh, your progress in the game, um, stuff like that. The thing about that is it's, it's clearly fantasy, it's, clearly, it's like a science fiction kind of, um, it's really obviously a game, it's not something you ever tend to have to deal with in, in real life, thankfully. <laughs> um, so it kind of seems art a little bit artificial and a little bit kind of um, indulgent in a kind of sort of it doesn't really affect the way you feel about things. Whereas hopefully Democracy 3 does, because you are given dilemmas and choices in this game that kind of do affect you in the real world. Um, we all pay tax or we all receive some form of, of sort of state benefit or whatever. And we all have to live by or risk the consequences of not living by the, the sort of laws of the land. So, all those decisions that you make in Democracy 3, they are decisions about your own ethics and, and decisions about what sort of a person you are and, and what you believe. Do you believe fundamentally in individual freedom and um, that people should sort of stand on their own two feet and all that kind of like libertarian stuff? Or do you believe fundamentally in society coming together to help out the poorest members of society um, collectively? You know, do you owe people who are less successful in life than you anything or not? Um, all those sort of issues, those sort of fundamental things that everyone thinks that they know what they believe and that they've come to a rational um, kind of evaluation. That sort of stuff that games don't really handle. They don't really deal with it because games are normally they're a fantasy or they're science fiction. and. We're therefore, when we start playing them, we're already in another world. And when you play Democracy 3, you're not, you're in this world, and you're dealing with day-to-day -day events that, um, that are out there and affect you, especially if you're, for example, in the US at the moment, your government has shut down and, and made default. Um, you may be temporarily out of work as a result. This is a real-world fundamental thing that will affect your standard of living. And the game is kind of, making you reevaluate how you would handle that situation if you were actually in charge. And I think that that's more interesting from an emotional point of view because when you play Democracy 3 you can come away thinking, you know, maybe people whose political views I don't tend to agree with, maybe they do have a point because, uh, you know, when I'm in that position I find myself doing things that, uh, that I disagree with. And I wish more games would do that. I wish more games uh, had an impact on you. The, I love games like Battlefield 3 uh, and EVE Online and stuff like that, but I, I come away with them entertained um, and sometimes amused, but not changed. And I quite like entertainment experiences that, that change you and or make you really think about stuff. And there's a lot of nonsense spoken about whether or not games are art. I don't really care um, because a lot of the people who 
appoint themselves as the dictators of whether or not something is art. The sort of people that I just don't want anywhere near my <laughs> my industry, uh, frankly, because it's just so pretentious and so flipping ridiculous. Um, so I don't care whether or not games are art, but I think that we are at a point where games should be able to have an emotional impact and an intellectual impact on the people that play them. And I just, arrogantly, I would say, you know, Democracy 3 at least tries to do that, and I think it does do that. Um, and I think that's a more interesting approach to take to the kind of uh, growth in, in games and the maturity of games than some arbitrary distinction as to whether or not they're art. Um, I, I don't even under, un understand that debate at all. It, it seems fundamentally strange to me.